So, Kinthia, please. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. It's a great pleasure for me to be here today and also to have the opportunity to introduce my research and how it includes virtual reality and immersive environments. So, a bit of background. Uh, my name is Kintia Hamilothori. I'm part of the Lipid Lab at EPFL. And I'm doing there my PhD with, uh, under the supervision of Professor Merlin Anderson and Jan Vinold. I'm currently in my third year, which means, let's go back, uh, that I'm uh, just a bit after the midpoint of my PhD. So my thesis is focusing on how the composition of daylight patterns change our, our experience in a space. And I would like you to imagine that you are in this space on the left, with this very structured and regular uh, pattern. And I would like you to imagine that you are in the scene on the right, with this very rich and complex pattern of light falling through leaves. And I think that you will agree with me that these are two very distinct experiences. And I see many of you are nodding. So this is exactly what I would like to uh, try to quantify and understand in my research. Of course, the same question can be applied when discussing about the same space. So here we have the example of a winery uh, in Switzerland. And on the left, we have um, a space with a very diffuse lighting pattern. Um, it's a diffuse lighting situation. While on the right, it's the same space, but in another moment in time, with direct sunlight. And this brings this dramatic pattern that completely transforms the space. To answer these kind of questions, I need to do many experiments. And with a wide range of uh, conditions changing the, the view and the daylight pattern. And there are many challenges with that. Mainly that if you have a physical building, it's very difficult to change the facade pattern. Let's say you want to change five or ten uh, facades. You really need to have physically you know, the, the change in the facade. And then on the other hand, it's very difficult to control the luminous conditions, which you need to do to have a proper experiment. On the other hand, we cannot use um, simulation or um, photographs which are projected on normal screens because these lack immersion. And this has been found to be problematic when we try to assess the pleasantness and the distribution of light in a real space. And this is why I'm conducting experiments in an immersive virtual environment. In this kind of environments, the user can explore the space by turn their, turning their head. And also, we have full control over what they see. They might be in any space, but what they see is not necessarily the space they're in. And one of the things I find the most liberating about virtual reality is its mobility. So you can really take you know, a headset and your laptop and take it with you and share a scene with uh, people in an experiment, with your uh, colleagues, with your clients, with your students. It's really a portable experience. And from, um, in the framework of research, we can also get many types of uh, data. The most obvious is subjective responses. So you ask questions to the people about the space that they're looking at. We can also get head tracking data. So here it's me on the right, wearing the Oculus. And what I'm actually seeing in the virtual reality is a 180 degree space. So it's a hemisphere. And this hemisphere, you can see it on the left. And there it's projected just as a 2D image. So we're looking at it from the front. And there is a little green dot in the middle. So this dot is actually the center of my field of view in Oculus, which is the virtual reality headset we're using. And you can see that as I move, we can follow how I move my head, because my center of uh, the field of view is changing. And this means that we can get really quickly, without any use of additional devices, um, uh, behavioral data on how people move their head in a space. And this means that we can also compare it between different conditions and between different uh, people. You remember that I just said that one of the things I enjoy most about VR is how it's a portable experience. And 
With this, I would like to invite you to a demonstration with Oculus Rift that will be happening during the symposium, so today and tomorrow, at the VR stage, uh, which is just underneath us while, while we had coffee. And uh, this will happen in the breaks, starting from the break right after. And what will happen is that you can just come to me and say, hi, I want to try the headset. And then you can there explore different kinds of uh, content that we use for uh, research in Lipid. Um, I won't tell you more, it's a secret. <laughs> and then uh, you can also learn what is happening a bit behind the scenes. So what, how we make these immersive environments. And we'll be glad to hear your thoughts and what you think about it, if it's useful to you, how we would use it, anything you might want to share. And just before I go, a little um, video of my uh, colleague, Giorgia Kinazzo, who is looking at the space and it's a trick because we can actually see what she sees. And this is also what will happen in the demonstration. There will be a screen so we can also see what the people that are wearing the headset see. So she's actually in um, a rendered space with a daylight uh, pattern. And this is the kind of um, um, experience you will also get um, while looking at the VR environment from um, the outside while looking at what the person sees. But while you're wearing the headset, this is a completely immersive uh, and normal experience. And with this, I would like to thank you very much for listening.